guys. So just went and did a little bit of damage at Pillow Talk on some homewares. So I thought I would start today's vlog off with a little homewares haul because um, I got some really cute things. I also got my Hello Fresh in the mail. I'm really excited for this week's Hello Fresh. Actually, we have sweet mustard chicken and roast veggies. <laughs> Then we have cheesy veggie loaded baked ganache. Then we have Vietnamese style beef strips. I've had this before and it's delicious. So really excited for my HelloFresh. I'm just gonna quickly unpack this and then I can show you guys what I got. Okay, I caved. I just had to get one of my soft boxes because it's so overcast, it's really dark in here. But I really wanna show you guys what I got like right now. So, I went to Pillow Talk, I did some damage, and oh my gosh, the lady that served me at Pillow Talk, literally so helpful and so lovely. Every time I go in there, I get exceptional customer service. So, if anyone from Pillow Talk is watching this right now, I just want you guys to know that your team in my hometown is always so helpful and just, they're just awesome. And you can tell they're really passionate about like homewares and stuff, which then makes me really excited because then when I get really excited about stuff, I don't feel so stupid. Um, but I'll show you guys what I got. So I'm a Pillow Talk member as well, so I get discounts too when I buy. So it kind of like makes me go nuts and spend stupid amounts of money every time I'm in there. But anyway, so I was saying on my Instagram stories the other day that I wanted like a really nice throw. And I saw these online from Pillow Talk. So I think a lot of their stuff is made by the brand Muse. I'm assuming that's their brand. But I got this fluffy throw. It looks so beautiful. So this is called the Muse Pellage, Pellage Throw. If I can link it in the description box, I will. Anything I can link, I will do that for you guys. But oh my God, it feels so soft. It is faux. I'm pretty sure it's faux fur. Jeez, I hope it is. Acrylic, yeah, I was about to say. I'm like, surely not. Surely, it, like it was only $150, so clearly not real fur, but just wanted to double check. But this feels so bloody soft and on the inside of it, it has like, um, oh, I don't even know what you would call the inside layer of it, but it's like really soft on the bottom layer of the actual throw too. So I'm hoping this will look nice on my white lounge. Just gotta go and double check because it's kind of got some brown in it and like my house is very monochromatic white and gray, but I thought it might be nice to have something that's kind of like a little less gray on the lounge, so let me just have a look. I suppose if it doesn't look good on this lounge, I can put it on the other one. And then, I got myself another fake plant. I don't know if you guys have noticed a fake plant I have currently next to my computer desk. It's a really big one in a white pot, but I got those from Pillow Talk, from Pillow Talk as well, and it's such a good like fake plant, and I wanted a shorter, smaller one to actually put in that area, because that plant is currently too big, I think, for that spot. So I'm gonna do some reshuffling, so I got this one here, this one's cute too, it's by the brand Muse as well. And I thought that was a really nice like faux plant that um I can find a little home for somewhere. They didn't have many pots left. They kind of have like lots of baskets but not many pots. But I found this one and it comes on the stand. I think I'm just going to repaint it all white. So as you guys can see um, at the moment it has like that peachy coloured bottom which I think is really cute but I think I would prefer it to be all white. So I might do that and I got that to put this plant in and I just need to buy some rocks to put in around the bottom of it. I think I might prop it up a tiny little bit, but yeah, isn't that cute? Love a good little faux plant, but honestly, you can't kill fake plants, so I'm all about it. And then, oh, I got, I got another thing too, I got this basket. I don't know what it was about this, but I just really liked it. It's also by that Muse brand. So I got the basket and I saw that they had these like little hanging vine thingies. So I grabbed a few of them because it just looked really nice, like with them hanging out of the basket, sort of hanging over an edge of a thing. So I think I might put this on like my sideboard or maybe even like on my shelf or something and then have like the little, little vines like hanging off the edge. Isn't that cute? So I've got that. Oh, I've got another plant. How many plants can a person get? 
So they had these when I was checking out and as you guys can see, it's got a flat back on the pot. It's a really nice pot actually. It's like a little mini fern. It's so cute and I just saw them and they look really nice. You can actually hang them up on the wall. So you can do like a little, they had like frame things that they had them hung on for like little vertical gardens that you can have inside your house, which actually look really nice. And I might consider getting one of those, but I thought I'd grab this and I would just push it up against like my kitchen tile somewhere. Um, where can you guys see? Like, because it sits flat. Can you guys see that? Don't have to hand. I think you can. But yeah, I thought it would be cute to put in my kitchen somewhere. Um, I don't know exactly where. Maybe even like behind my kettle. I don't know. I just... I just got it because I thought it was really cute. So, <laughs> there's that. And then I got another Duna cover. I saw this online and like... I kind of feel like it's a Duna cover that I would have loved to have had when I was a teenager. Um, if I'm totally honest with you guys. Like... 16 year old Hannah would have lived, died, died and breathed for this. Um, but it was on sale, on clearance for $69. So it was originally $109 down to $69. And I really just needed a second Duna cover um, for our bed because all my white Dunas have just been destroyed from the dogs. And as much as I love white bedding, I just don't know if I can put myself through the chaos of having to keep white bedding clean in winter. Cause like when it's raining on days like today, the dogs just jump on the bed and they get dirt all over them and I'm not about to bar my dogs from my room. And yeah, I think I did pretty well. So, that's my little haul. Did I do well? What do you guys think? Do you love my fake plants? I'm just going to take a thumbnail because, well, we've got it all set up. Oh, and guess what else I did? I ordered a new fridge. I'm so excited. I ordered the stainless steel fridge. To go here which matches my dishwasher and my oven so i'm really excited so i got my nails done today guys bit of a green moment if you'll ever focus there we go don't they look so cool look really good when i got a fresh fake tan and then um i was at the supermarket and they had 40 percent off their little bags of easter eggs so i got my caramello and my dairy milk i wish i had bought more i only bought six bags Oh, and the big block of chocolate was also on special. Um, so I'm going to make Brett go buy more Easter eggs. But I wanted to quickly show you guys. I end up... You're being so fucking loud. For someone who doesn't want to be filmed, you're like causing a lot of attention to be on yourself. I'm trying to talk to please leave the kitchen. Oh my gosh. So what I was trying to say is I changed the throw over that I showed you guys at the start of this video to a different color. I can't remember what the first one was called, Tanunda or something. This color throw is called Arctic. And can you tell that these little angel pies love this throw? Um, I'm going to stop vlogging now for a second so Brett can cook me dinner because I don't want to cook. And if I keep interrupting him, I guess we won't be eating. So you can come back and cook dinner for us now, honey. Oh, <laughs> William and Mary just like, what is going on? So I can't remember what else I showed you guys. I know I briefly vlogged the other day our new throw that I changed over, but I can't remember if I said I got the cushions. Oh, the puppies are joining us. Say yeah. hello, everyone. Yeah. Do you want to go outside? Come on then. Come on then. Come on. Oh, Mia hasn't been out yet this morning. You go <laughs> and I ended up getting two of the matching cushions and I also got these two cushions from pillow talk I thought this was a nice contrast because like you've got you know the sort of masculine heavy furry cushion then you've got like the cute little gray frilly linen cushion and I thought you know if I ever change couches because I think I'm probably going to I think I'm going to end up buying like a nice gray um, three-seater lounge with chase I thought that these colors would go nice with a gray lounge as well so that's the throws. Then this is the other little plant that I got set up in the corner here. I just put it next to my little workstation because I just like having a little bit of greenery there. Even though it's fake, I don't know why, but it just kind of like, I feel like it brings a little bit of life back to the space. So I just put it there next to my little computer desk. I'm really liking having my computer desk out here too. Like it's so perfect. So I'm going to change my beauty room around in the next week or two as well and get rid of my other computer out of there and just make it strictly 
like just my beauty room and then yeah have my editing set up permanently out here then i got this bigger plant from pillow talk a while ago actually it's a little bit dark in here so I don't know if you guys can see that super well, but I got that a while ago from Pillow Talk as well, as well as the actual pot that it's in. Then I got this little baby from Pillow Talk that you guys saw in the start of the haul. So yeah, that's my little fake plant corner. Then I have this little ottoman, which is actually made by my sister-in-law's mother-in-law. So I'll link her Instagram in the description box if you guys are interested in checking out her stuff. Then, of course, I've got my fake fireplace <laughs> on the deli because it just, I love having this going when I'm just sort of chilling in the room because it just creates such a nice vibe. Oh, and I also, I've already eaten half of them, but I've already started buying Easter eggs, which are in there. And don't mind that, that's just my stockpile of eye drops <laughs> when I'm sitting out here. But I like having my little chocolate stash on the coffee table because when I feel like a little nibble, I can just dig right in. But that's how the lounge room's looking at the moment with those little additional plants. I think it looks cute. I actually like that little corner now. I was really not sure what to do with it um, for a little while there. Here is the first little like draping plant. How bloody cute does it look? Like it just looks so nice I think on the corner of the island. Like looks like I've got some cool little plant just growing out of a basket. <laughs> Isn't it? so cute in the basket it's really nice and I've just got it sitting on a chopping board with my favorite candle next to it and then also isn't my bag from the daily edited just gorgeous I, I literally am obsessed with it it's so I think that's all I have to show you guys so I'm just waiting for the fridge to come it's like 8 30 in the morning right now when I'm filming this and I'm just waiting for the delivery men to call my phone I'm so excited guys the fridge is here just gotta wait for Brett to come home so we can try and get it in place. It's such a big box. I'm gonna start just unwrapping it now. Getting closer to unveiling her. Gosh, they pack these things with bloody good. Okay guys, just excuse the motorbike helmets. Brett's been cleaning them because he's selling them, but we have the fridge in and it looks so cute in the kitchen. It just looks like a little bit more modern, you know, like we just like a stainless steel moment. It's a really good fridge. It's a great size for Brett and I. We just got the 519 litre fridge. I'll link this one in the description. Only thing is, is it gets finger marks on it, so you gotta wipe it down a little bit but that's okay oh <sighs> come on i need my microfiber cloth i think to get it off properly <sighs> that's all right so yeah it's a french door fridge by fisher and pico that little mark is going to irritate the living daylights out of me fuck's sake one second
Okay, now I've got my life together again. So, <laughs> it's a Fisher & Paykel French door fridge with the freezer bottom. Um, we don't have much food, food. We don't have much food in our fridge. We don't have much food in our fridge because I've been away in Victoria and um, also we haven't got our HelloFresh yet. So typically our HelloFresh takes up majority of our fridge. So it's a pretty decent size. It's a 519 liter fridge. So I will um, link it in the description box for you guys. So if any of you are interested in this fridge, at least you know exactly which one it is. Oh, I chuck these tea towels on the floor because I need to go in the washing machine and you can see them in the background. Gosh, damn it. <laughs> I haven't unpacked my bags from Victoria either. So this is a reality of like social media guys. People just push their mess out of frame so that their house looks nice and clean when it's really not and that's reality with mine. This back room is really clean. The rest of my house looks like a bomb has gone off. So yeah. So anyway, that's the fridge with the French doors. So they do like open up further than that but I just don't want to hit them on my pantry because... Oh yeah, they stopped there so that's good. They stop there so they won't hit on the pantry door. That's what that looks like in the top section. So this is Brett's side of the fridge so he can put his drinks on that side and this is my side of the fridge. And then yeah, when we get our HelloFresh, it'll fill up a little bit more. Then we have the freezer bottom and you've got like this bottom really deep drawer and then you've got like a smaller drawer, which actually is a little ice section which I knocked over and didn't put back. Sorry about that. There we go. So you've got like a little ice tray area so you can just freeze lots of ice cubes and have them in there. And there, I'm just going to put like um, ice creams in this left section when I actually have ice creams. But in winter, I don't really eat ice cream. And it's starting to get cold where I live already. And then my most reachful things. Oh, my fridge is beeping. So party pies, you guys know the dealio. Love my bloody party pies. But yeah, it's a good little drawer and it's got like a little ice tray too. So you've just got to clean that out, I suppose, every once in a while. And um, it's got the same matching handles as my actual dishwasher. So the handles on this, see them, are exactly the same as the handles on my dishwasher. And also the handles on my oven because they're all Fisher and Paykel. So everything matches. I actually need to, so this is a pyrolytic oven and I've never, <laughs> look at that oven tray. <laughs> look at the oven door. I've never cleaned the actual oven. The oven tray is disgusting. We actually need new oven trays. <laughs> Don't judge me, but it's a pyrolytic oven and I need to figure out how to turn it on and do a pyrolytic run because I've never have the whole time we've lived here and we've had this house for like a few years. And I also need new oven trays because they are disgusting. But we also bought a new fry pan. <laughs> I don't know who's excited about this stuff, but I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you like homewares. So I picked up from my house, I think it's called, a granite fry pan because they're meant to be like the best non-stick fry pans on the market. It's super heavy. Um, Brett's the only one that's used it so far because I haven't cooked anything recently and he said it's a really good pan. So that's that. And um, yeah, that's the kitchen. It just looks so complete now. I'm super happy with it. I just think it looks really nice and modern and yeah, so there it is. The new fridge, I really wish I had it done. Black pendants over our island. I think it would look so nice. Like even though we've got the gold accent light, I still think we could have got away with some black pendants, some really nice simple ones. And I think it would have looked really cute. And I've got that new plant up on the actual island too now, which I think looks nice. And I think the rose gold coppery colored clock looks good too. So I don't really know what else to add. I kind of feel like it's a more of a practical kitchen. So I like to keep the bench space pretty free and clear for when I'm cooking. But yeah, I think that's all I have to show you guys. Lily wants attention. Oh, you just saw the mess again. So I'm going to, yeah, go start my day. So I hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you in the comment section. Thank you for watching. You've got wet feet and you're climbing all over my new cushions. You are, you're lucky, I love you so much.